Hello everyone, and welcome back to To Be Released Solo. I'm Wokey, and I'm here with Snake Drinking Water, the only To Be Released, the longest technically living Dokkan related podcasty thingy talky going on <laughs> in the history of the world today. Uh, I'm Wokey, and I'm here again, once again, to talk some Dokkan. Now, the, the world tournament grinding is currently going on in Japan, so this video is hopefully not going to be very long because I need to get back to doing that. But let's get into it, huh? First things first, the World Tournament is back in Japan, and the World Tournament still sucks. I don't understand why Dokkan refuses to fix the World Tourney in any shape, form. I don't know, man. I think they're just, like... I think they're just done. If they can't even figure out a way to get... Like, they release so many modes when I wish they would actually stop releasing modes... And fix the world turning. Are you kidding me? A world turning mode that is actually pretty fun every once in a while leaves and is not a horrible slog to grind and kept kept all the rewards. That'd be great. Problem is, is that Dokkan seems unable to do any of that, so it's always a pain in the butt. Anyway, world tournament going on. The download celebration ended. The reason there was not an episode for the download celebration is that. Uh, for the end of it was because the end of it was Bardock. Who gives a fuck about Bardock? <laughs> Except for, I guess, the, the Bardock fans and all the Bardock. But it was just an easy A of the Bardock, and he's not even related to Namek, so he may as well be considered dead, even though he's apparently very good. A uh, terrible end to the celebration. A celebration that was going pretty good. There was 30 stones being blasted off at the end. I wasn't too mad about Bardock because they started giving out stones like crazy near the end of it. So I was kind of like, eh, fine, whatever. <laughs> do your stupid mistakes. You do your stupid celebration that isn't even technically fully done. Do a, an entire Ginyu Force EZA and then don't bother to Dokkan awaken the actual fucking leader for the Ginyu Force, which is uh, either the tech Captain, uh, Captain Ginyu Goku or the original LR Ginyu Force. Like, there's two LRs here. Like, here's my actual problem with Bardock, is it is the dumbest thing that they could release for a um, Namek celebration. And at this point, I assume everyone knows that. Probably the biggest, dumbest end to a celebration that they've done in six years. <laughs> I've never seen something so bad. Actually, I take it back. There was one thing bad. That was when, during the two-year, when it was the Namek celebration, and then the Dokkan Fest units were fucking the Super Saiyan 4 units. <laughs> Oh my god, such a bad end. Oh. Imagine doing the Cell games in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Instead of having Super Saiyan 2 Gohan get the easy A, they gave it to like LR. I was going to say LR Bojack, but he is technically a part of the Cell games. They gave it to LR Bobbity and Boo. And it's like, well, he they were technically related. Boo was on the planet Earth. At the time of this event happening, and it's like, what? No. What are you doing? This is terrible. No one else would like this. Absolutely no one would like this. And it does not fit with the actual celebration theme. So I think, as much as if you liked the Bardock and you were waiting for the Bardock, you would have to be actually blind to think that Bardock fit thematically with... Um, there being Namek anything. And if you're going to come at me and saying like, whatever, there were Bardock dudes involved in the Ginyu Force EZA, and I will then tell you, the Ginyu, the, the, they shouldn't have been involved in the stupid Ginyu Force thing at all. They should have just done Namek. They never fought the Ginyu Force. The fucking Bardock crew would get fucking washed. The Bardock crew got washed by fucking Kui. <laughs> you're going to tell me that they're going to stand a chance against the fucking Ginyu Force? Get on my goddamn face with that. So, yeah, Namek Celebration left a bad taste in my mouth, but it's okay, because they immediately started with a Kale and Khalifla the, for the next Celebration thing, which I was actually able to get, and I didn't do a summon video because it, it felt pointless, but I got them in one multi, no, one or two multis. I think it was only one multi. Uh, so pretty happy with that. I like them. Uh, I don't like the Kaba that they put on with that, but I will get into that later. And they've also, I think, made a lot of mistakes with the categories of them. But, yeah, Dokkan. So let's get into the actual big boy scale now. Okay, so starting with the big boy scale, well, let's put in LR Bardock. Obviously, LR Bardock, uh, he is, the actual unit itself is amazing. 
uh, his effect. They've done a great job giving him an easy A. Sometimes it feels like... It's, I guess some people have a problem with the LR easy A's. I've never felt any problem with them. I think most people have a problem with the Goku and Frieza saying he still needs defense. And then I just throw up the... I don't know. I don't give a fuck. They do perfectly fine for me. Maybe stop playing the shit modes in Dokkan and maybe you'll feel better about the unit. But... At that point, then, if you don't play the shit modes, then it's like, I don't have anything to grind, why am I using this unit? And I'm like, you're right, you should stop playing Dokkan. Because that's the actual way you're supposed to play Dokkan, is that you're supposed to sit down, take a shit, pop up Dokkan, and play for a bit, and then move on with your life. You're not supposed to actually replay the hard modes, because uh, they're bad, and they're only meant to be beaten, <laughs> I think, a maximum of, like, what, 20 times, depending on the mission? And then once you've done that, you're done. You're, there's no playing them for fun because they were never meant to be fun. And that's the end of that. So, yeah, this Bardock, pretty good. Um, where does he rank on the big boy scale, though? On the big boy scale, I think he would put, be put at a 4 out of 5 big boy. But because he ruined the end of the Namek celebration until we get an easy A for either the Ginyu Force LRs any LRs from Namek or uh, Super Saiyan Namek Goku, he's going to have to be given a negative 20. So that would put him at negative 16 out of 5 on the big boy scale. Uh, tough but fair, I feel. Good job, Wookie. Next, let's go with Kaba. Kaba, no, we're going to save Kaba for last. Next is Khalifa and Kale, who will, after certain conditions, will turn into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Let's uh, start with the bad things right away, which is the bad things are <laughs> this active skill, which takes six turns. Uh, terrible. They should stop doing this. There's no denying anything else about this unit, and there's no denying that that fucking sucks ass. I don't know why they do that. Um, it's a terrible idea. They should stop doing it. I think the other bad thing about them is that they stop stacking when they transform. <laughs> so maybe you don't even want to transform them in any given situation. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, you probably don't. No, no, they still stack attack, but I don't think they stack. Let me see. Yeah, okay, yeah. In the first form, they stack attack and defense by 20%, but then the second, they only stack attack. So, if you care about defense, even though I think they are built with, like, built in dodge, there's plenty of fights where the dodge gets disabled. Except for in the, the, the good content, in which case you don't actually care about any of that. Next. I don't know, they seem perfectly strong to me. Um, I guess they're not strong when you consider the strongest things in Dokkan, but... Again, the modes that you would use the strongest units in Dokkan don't actually matter all that much. You only beat them once or twice and then you're done. You chances are will grind out these units more often than you will do anything else in Dokkan. Unless you're someone who actually grinds less in Dokkan and just plays for the hard stuff, in which case there's no helping you. You're a, kind of a weirdo in that case. But yeah, their leader skill is for Bond of Friendship and Rapid Growth. Bond of Friendship might be the most bullshit category I've ever seen, because there's no Gohan on it, and <laughs> Dokkan is taking the bold stance that Gohan, through all the ages, except for when he is with... Um, Icarus, who is not canon to the series, Gohan has never made a friend. So they're saying all the time he spent with Krillin on Namek, he doesn't consider him a friend. Mr. Piccolo is his master, which, fair enough, he's not his friend. Which I would still call bullshit because he is master and friend. He is not friends with his dad. He's not friends with his mom. He's friends with absolutely no one. <laughs> he's not friends with his wife. <laughs> he never made friends with Videl. Apparently, before he married Videl, he fucking hated her, and that's why he was so angry when she was getting beat up. He automatically was just like, damn, I want to marry this woman. This woman who is blackmailing me. I feel no feelings toward friendships toward her at all. So yeah, he did not make it into Bond of Friendship. It, it's, it's actually bizarre, because especially Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who the whole reason he's angry is that he's... If you take out the fact that he doesn't consider any of the people on the other side of the battlefield his friends... Then Gohan is just angry that they are beating up an android, Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku's friends. He is angry for that reason alone. And I guess Hercule as well. It's bizarre. It's very weird. Fucking the GT trio was considered friends. What kind of horseshit is that? <laughs> Pan is the daughter of Gohan. 
It just doesn't make any sense. That considers friends fucking Broly and female, what Chilai and fucking Lemonade or whatever his name is. They're considered to be friends, so they keep to be on the category. It's, ugh, it's so weird. Every single Goku can get be on there because he's friends with Krillin, and that's also dumb. It's unbelievably dumb. You could at least make the distinction of like, oh yeah, why isn't Android 18 on there? Isn't she friends with Krillin? And I would say like, well, obviously they're in love. So that's why I'd make a statement saying like, if it was post-marriage with Gohan, Videl, then yeah, no, they wouldn't be friends. They're more, you know, lovers in that case. But the Videl we have is before that. So (laughs) they're not friends. I don't get it. I just don't understand it. Pan and fucking Kiru, the fucking robot, the robot that has no fucking feelings, has a friend, but Gohan is not allowed to have any friends. It's a terrible category. It's a terrible category with a lot of units I actually like on it. I just don't understand why Gohan's not on it. Rapid Growth is there, at least, so you can, in theory, use a Gohan, because he's already on Rapid Growth. So, you can technically use this team with an android, because Aider is on this category, and Aider is an android... And because Android 8 is friends, and again, another robot is friends, and um, because he is an android, you can uh, trigger the um, transformation for Gohan, but you want him to be with a 16, and I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's possible, but anyway, Bond of Friendship, weird category, no friend have an ass for a lot, Gohan is not allowed to be on it, but he can be with them as a leader under Rapid Growth, so that's something. So yeah, what does this unit land? Um, obviously, there's a lot of negatives to them. They're not as strong as some of the strongest units. Like, for example, the Bardock. Um, but they're two women, so I'm going to have to grade them based off of that. And Kale gets a 5, Khalifa gets a 5, so put that together. They get a 55 out of 5 on the big boy scale. And that's really good. Good for them. I think they've done a fantastic job. And then if you also count, actually, I forgot, you have to count in Kefla, too. And since Tenkefla is two Saiyan women, she's like two women in one, so that would be a 10. So it's a 65 out of 5 on the big boy scale. And that is that you this unit. Next. And last person we're putting on the big boy scale, we got Super Saiyan Kaba. Oh my god, this is... You know, I'm just going to read what he does, because it's so stupid. Um, he has a stupid uh, unit super with Vegeta, because he's best friends with Vegeta. But he's not, because he's actually the master and disciple with vegeta so he doesn't even get to be on <laughs> okay passive skill kaba's oath attack and defense 130 percent plus an additional attack and defense six percent per universe survival saga category ally on the team universal survival saga category allies keep us three attack and defense 40 percent plus an additional attack 60 percent when attacking when your team has an ally whose name includes vegeta attacking um, this Kaba is straight garbage, and the reason is, is that he doesn't share a fucking category outside of Universal Survivor Saga with the brand new fucking Dokkan Fest. So he's useless. He's not... He's goddamn useless. He's not on rapid growth, even though he was able to get Super Saiyan real fucking quick in the fight with Vegeta. They just said, fuck you. I guess this is the one from the Universal Survival Saga, so he doesn't count as that. Um... There's some weird bullshit with, I think, Pure Saiyans, which prevents, um fusions from being on it i think but let me actually double check on this one because it might be a case of where they're actually okay they're actually on it so they shared that but they don't that's not the leader they're not on rapid growth and they're not on bond of friendship because again kaba has no fucking friends kaba no friend have an ass he's not friends with kale and Khalifa. all those fan comics you've ever seen of them hanging out being buddy buddy a fucking lie he's he's, kaba has no friends to call his own um terrible man such a bad fucking unit and then he's also buffing universal survival saga which is such a like you know how many lrs exist for this category one two three four five six seven eight nine ten when you have 10 lrs for one given category and you're a tur you have to be bringing something to the table that would make you stand out from everyone else and he's a supporter Who gives a fuck when there are literally two topos. One of the LRs is a supporter as well that also does uh, help with supporting. And there's actually multiple supporters for the fucking Universal Saga. There's no reason for him to be released as a fucking tournament of power (laughs) unit when he doesn't... 
He's such a bad fucking... They should... Mm, he's so bad. He's so unbelievably bad, it's actually insulting how bad he is. I don't even know how much damage he does, but I'm going to tell you right now, this guy's straight trash. This might be the worst side banner unit that they've ever released to go with a main banner unit because he has no fucking business being next to them other than they're on universe six but even then he's not buffing anything with universe six he's technically wants to be with a fucking vegeta so you can't actually run him on universe six uh you have to run him on universal survival saga and he let me tell you he doesn't make the fucking cut he's too terrible he's a bad unit if you're a fan of Kamba, I'm sorry that you got such a stanky-ass unit because you should have gotten a better one. But because of the fact that he needs to do something with Vegeta, they could not give him anything that just buffs specifically Universe 6. They couldn't give him Pure Saiyans. I don't know why they didn't give him anything related to Pure Saiyans. He doesn't have any friends, so he's not buffing the friends. He's just bad. <laughs> To put him on the scale, um, if Bardock was able to get a minus 15 when he's actually a good unit, I think this unit has to get the lowest score. He's going to get a, a negative a million out of five on the big boy scale because he's just so... he. I'm going to call this right now. There's a lot of bad units in Dokkan. He's actually the worst. He's the most insulting unit in Dokkan. Easily. Easily the most insulting. If you pulled him, I'm sorry you have him. So useless, so unbelievably a waste of a spot, waste of space, and I can't believe that they would do this to Kaba. It's actually more infuriating that they did it with Kaba, because there's not going to be a lot of chances for them to release a new Kaba that is actually a banner unit. They should have fucking released Boda Magetta, and then, actually, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think Boda Magetta is on Bond of Friendship, which is bullshit. Why isn't Boda Magetta on there? Oh my god, This the more I look at this category, the more, like, the exceptions that they make is just pure craziness. How are Bodum again and not considered friends? Let me ask you this. If you allow a man to be on your shoulders the way that Boda allows... <laughs> Magetta allows Boda to be on his shoulders, I think there's a level of intimacy between you that counts as friends. And yet they don't get be considered friends don't know okay that's the end of this there is one question i'll answer it now um one question comes in from rabbit fire toaster who kind of from discord and he's the only person because i didn't ask for questions but i did remember he sent one so he gets to get his question answered and this was asked on september 19 2021 he says well, here's a question for the next tbr solo who thought about making team Bard bardock a requirement for the ginyu easy a was a good idea um Dokkan. I don't understand why they did that, other than they wanted to say, like, but look, now the Bardock EZA makes sense. We set it up here. Uh, which I'll call bullshit. They should have never done that. It should have just been all Namek. Uh, you should have had a way to use your brand new Namek Saga units. How about that? They decided against it. They decided that, no, we shouldn't have that. We can't have people having fun with the new units that they pulled from Namek Saga and the new free-to-play units. Fuck that. Don't need it. So that's what they decided to do. And again, it doesn't make sense either from like, because let me tell you again, one Bardock, one member of the Kinyu Force could wash the entirety of the Bardock crew. It's not even an easy fight. Bardock himself would lose to the Kinyu Force. <laughs> like maybe he makes it past, he doesn't make it past Raikoum. He doesn't make it past Raikoum. I'm going to tell you this right now. A lot of people would assume he does because, oh my god, he goes Super Saiyan. Bullshit. The him going Super Saiyan is not canon, <laughs> except for in this weird Elseworlds what if scenario where he turns Super Saiyan. But actual Bardock, the one whose only purpose is to die and lose, he would automatically get washed by Rikum, no questions asked, and he would not make it past them. He might be able to beat Birder. He's not going to be able to beat. I don't think he's actually going to be able to beat Birder because Birder required like three dudes to take down. And by that point, Bardock was just a lone-ass man, so he didn't really stand a chance. Oh, man. So, yeah. Dumb, dumb thing. But, you know, it's Dokkan. They make a lot of dumb decisions. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me for a to-be-released solo. It's always been a pleasure. Uh, because there's no more celebration going on, for sure that these are going to slow down. But don't, for, don't worry, because I will always remember to do them when the time comes. So till next time, everyone, remember, don't play Dokkan, because if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. Goodbye, everyone. Right.